As you can tell by the title of the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for the Miami Open as a ball person. So guys, it's currently 10.43 and I just finished a school project, so now I'm going to start packing my bag for the Miami Open. This is my bag with everything that they gave me besides the shoes, but I'm going to take everything out and hang them up in my closet. So yesterday I made a checklist so I wouldn't forget anything so I'm going to bring a change of shirt um, and that's because you cannot take pictures with tennis players or anything like that if you're wearing your uniform so if I ever get the chance to I'm going to bring an extra change of shirt so then I'm bring my iPad, Apple Pencil, my keyboard to do homeschool, my phone, AirPods, charger, jacket, hat, sweatband, credentials, snack, and water bottle. I'm charging my Apple Pencil because it's on 16% and I'll be there for like 10 hours so I'm gonna charge that so that won't die. And now I'm gonna go fill my water bottle up and put it in the fridge and write my name on it. All right guys, so I got my uniform all taken out the bag and fold up in the closet so it'll be easy so I can just like put it on in the morning. And then I packed um, the stuff that don't need to be charged because I'm gonna charge my iPad and then I'm currently charging my AirPods and my Apple Pencil and then later on I'm charging my phone. Put that all in there and yeah so i'll see you guys in the morning i'm so scared well not scared but i'm really nervous i don't want to mess up tomorrow um and i'm really excited so i'll update you guys in the morning so guys it's 5 30 in the morning and i'm going to go take a shower so i took my shower and i put on the shirt and the score um i don't i can't wear earrings because it will mess with the lighting and the cameras and stuff like that but i look like a boy without earrings Hey guys, so I'm gonna lotion my skin with this body oil, so my skin will be ashy, but I don't like oil. I don't know. But we gotta make, we gotta do this so we don't look ashy on TV. I did that now, and I'm gonna put on my Kinlo. So I'm gonna do the height of the golden mist, the hydrating mist, and then the hydrating facial oil. Guys, I wrote my name in my hat because if I lose it, someone can just find my name in the hat and give it back to me because it costs $60 to get another one of these hats and you know, I'm not gonna lose it. And also gonna wrap my name in the jacket as well. So I'm all dressed, have my jacket on, my credential, and my skirt. All I have to do is put on my shoes, but that's pretty much it. And then I got my stuff packed in my bag. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the car. So we made it here and made it through security and now we're going up to our suite. Alright guys, so we checked in and I'm by the window. I'm watching the tennis players come into the building. That's pretty fun. The window is really dirty, but they come in from here and they come in. Oh, that's the girl that I that was walking in front of us. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Could you Guys, is it weird to just like sit here and like, look at the people walk in? This is our view. Oh, yeah! Good view. I'm gonna know what those my water bottles Guys, that's Naomi. That's Naomi. That's Naomi Osaka. Oh my goodness, Oh my gosh, bro. Look at her. That's Naomi. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh.
So me and my sister went outside to see if we can say hi to Naomi. But I was kind of scared. I was like building up the courage to like, you know, say hi to her. So that's what I did. Hi, Naomi! Alright guys, so we got assigned to our court, so now we are going to go, so I'm going to do my phone. Alright guys, so we're on break. Break is almost over in like 15 minutes, but I, I was watching Emma Raducanu play or practice and it was pretty cool. And then I see Naomi earlier, so we're trying to find her again. Um, but we don't know where court 9 is. So we got our food as a snack to walk back. Um, the paying machine didn't work, but the lady said that she trusts us to come back and pay for it. So we're gonna pay for it on our next break. Long break. All right, guys, so I just washed my hands. We're gonna go eat some food, but we just came up for our second court. Eating chicken tenders and then she got a sandwich and Pepsi. That match was so long. Um, I felt dizzy, so I swapped with the girl. Guys, it was so long. The player was getting mad. The player was hitting the ball against the wall. But I put new water in my bottle and um, I put ice in it. So it's currently 3.45 and we go back on the court on, at 4.20. It's like five more minutes to 5.20. So we're going back to our group and we'll go back on the courts. All right, guys, we're leaving. Um, we unfortunately miss Coco because we're on shift, but I'll update, I'll update you guys when I get home. So I was on Alicia Parks Live when I told her that I was a ball person for her that day, she so she was just right thanking there. me right here. Oh, thank you. Someone was my ball person today. Oh. Guys, I see Coco golf. I'm gonna go look. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Alright guys, so we just watched Coco's practice for 30 minutes um, and we was able to get a picture with her which is so cool. Um, yeah, so this guy was like brave like, to go ask, um, like he's like, Coco, do the gay, we need to take a picture. So she was walking over and everyone thought they were going to get a picture but um, she had to go to her next practice but me and my sister was able to get a picture as well as the guy that asked. So yeah. Guys, we're Sushi Maki after watching Emma practice for an hour and 30 minutes. But good thing we stayed because we end up getting a picture and uh, our ball signed. The market that she used was kind of like running out or something. I don't know, but this is the ball. And then Andy. Andy, I think he's under Murray. I don't know. Something like that signed their ball too. Pretty cool. I'm so excited. So right now we're getting some dinner, I guess. I don't know. What do you call before dinner? Was it supper or or no? Supper. Supper before dinner or after? I don't know. But we're just eating some food. But we get uh, we got a dragon roll with shrimp tempura, sushi, and Pepsi. But we're just waiting for our food to come, and I'll show you guys. Order has avocado and shrimp tempura inside of it. Uh, the avocado goes. Where's mine? Mm. It's really good. Alright, guys, 
guys, so we're walking now. Um, we're just watching court one because one of our ball person friends were being a ball person for court one. So we went to go watch it there. After that match was finished, we went to go sit down and then we turned around and Coco was behind us. So we went back up to her, we said hi, we took a picture with you earlier. And she's like, oh, I remember you guys. Uh, and then we, she said that she liked her hair. Yeah. Uh, and she asked for her twins, I'm like, yeah. But yeah, so now we're going to wait till our mom come pick, pick us up because the matches are over. So this is a couple days after the last clip, which was on Tuesday. We had tickets to watch Nami play, so this is us watching her match. If you want to see more of the Miami Open, make sure you check out our Instagram highlights. Let's go! When the Miami Open tournament was over, there was a ball person party, which there were raffles, pizza, drinks, and music. And me and my sister won something from the raffle. I won a signed Daniel Medvedev tennis ball, and my sister won a signed miniature football helmet, signed by a football player, but I'm not sure the name. But stay tuned to see what we traded our raffle prizes for. We're gonna show you, stay to the end for the big surprise of what we want at the party during the raffle. So I traded my signed tennis ball for the signed Miami Open postcard signed by Naomi Osaka. And my sister traded her signed football helmet for the same thing. So let me tell you what happened. So I won the signed Daniel Medvedev tennis ball, but then everyone started freaking out about it. Especially this one girl, she was like, oh, can I, can I see your ball? So and then I seen that she won the postcard. So I was like, okay, I like Naomi, you like um, Daniel Medvedev, so let's trade. So she's like, oh, really? So then after we traded, and then this boy won um, the postcard, and he like looked so upset about it. So um, one of the guys had the same last name as the football player that my sister won the helmet for. So we traded that with him, and that's how we got the two postcards. <laughs> 